Okay. Opening and closing curly brackets. And within that, I'm going to paste all this code here, which is relevant to my movie clip black underscore MC. All these three things happen to my black underscore MC. I take them there and I paste them here. Okay. So when I save it and run this code, what really happens is that Flash comes to this piece here, this part here, and searches for a command called do black. Goes and finds this private method do black, and inside that it finds three lines of code. Whether they are actions that happen from within here or within another class or on the stage, it does not matter. The fact is that everything that is related to this method is governed from this little function here. So when I one day go back to an, an old piece of code and have a look, I know that at a certain point at the header of my document, I've got all the different methods that are being executed. And at that line here, I find that I'm also executing a function on a movie clip called do black. And I, I can name them very intelligently, naturally, so that I can recognize them immediately. And then I can go down and check the function that is related to it. The same can be done with the other line of code as well, but first I'm going to test it. I'm going to save everything. When I run it, there is no difference. It's exactly the same. The only difference is that it becomes very compact inside here, and every single function is then separately neatly placed below it. Okay, and at this point I'm going to create another function, another method. Do black to... Now that will go and handle all my second movie clips actions. Okay, 